operations. So the city operations have really reached some new levels of inefficiencies as well as ineffectiveness during the current administration. And then it really got accelerated as we know during the pandemic. Uh, let me see a show of hands from you all if you've had problems getting your trash or recycling picked up. Okay, I'm, for those watching the live stream right now, I'm seeing quite a bit of hands. So with that in mind, what specifically will you do to ensure that city government really operates in an efficient manner? And City Council President Felicia Moore, we'll begin with you. Yes, I love that question because yes, I've had trouble and I've gotten plenty of calls from constituents related to just the basic city services. And let me tell you, it's dysfunctional, they're mismanaged, and we have been putting band-aids on it for many years. And this has been through many administrations. And so now we're at a critical point where our foundation is crumbling. What I'm going to do is go in and do a deep dive assessment. I, I know we do the big things great in Atlanta, building stadiums and those kinds of things. But what we haven't had is a mayor that is really ready to get in the weeds and deal with those operational issues that we need to deal with. We need better management. We need equipment. We need facilities. So we're going to do a deep dive, quick assessment of what those needs are so that we can get service delivery on track. And that will include everything on the table from uh, management, private management, uh, contract um, management, as well as looking at our staffing to see how we can, uh, I see I have read, uh, looking at our staffing so that we can see how we can move things around and get it done. Excuse me. What I'm going to do is go to work every day. If you try to go to City Hall, if you tried to go in the last 15, 18 months, you haven't been in the building. I believe that a mayor should be on the second floor and that all of the employees should be at work. We are the government. And so my sense is during the pandemic, we should have been at our most active. You can do so in a socially distanced, safe manner. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up City Hall and we're gonna provide services that you deserve. And when you call us, a human being needs to start answering the phone again. We're going to start with that. The second thing we're going to do is look to private sector talent and skill. When I was mayor, I hired Peter Amon, a Buckhead resident, as the chief operating officer of the city of Atlanta, and he helped to improve systems and operations radically. We had on-time trash pickup, <laughs> on-time debris pickup between the 88% to 92% range. So we need to bring in private sector talent, and we need to get back to work. I would ask that we stick to the time, please, as best that we can when we see the card. The Atlanta voters need to hear where we are on things. And I would ask that you would repeat the question. Okay, we, we're talking about right now problems with trash inefficiency. So how do you make sure that this city is gonna operate in an efficient way? Technology. We need to up our game in technology. We're a technology hub in Atlanta, yet we utilize hardly any of it. It's not been budgeted for. We get the basics in technology, but we don't have the next level that we need. We're calling 311 to get services where we should be using a Google form. Every one of you have probably used a Google form by this point. We need service hubs where, again, as I mentioned, people aren't traveling from all parts of the city getting stuck in traffic. Equipment needs to be invested in. Thank you. When Shirley Franklin was elected, I was involved in her transition. And I remember saying to her, ask for more help from the business community than you think you can get because everyone wants you to succeed. She did and I would. The, the problems with, with the operations of city government have been festering for years. COVID has exacerbated it. Uh, you know, I spent the last four years as Atlanta managing partner of the global law firm Denton's. I had to figure out how to manage an office and still deliver services to our clients during a pandemic. And we need to get City Hall open and back to work. I would rely on the private sector to really help me do a deep dive into the operations of city government and modernize, improve, and get back to the Time. service delivery. Mr. Dickens. Yeah, so as a city council, uh, we have approved budgets that allow for all of these activities to take place. So now I want to be mayor and I want to use my engineering technology to be able to provide an optimized system that improves on what we have today. I think we need to be data driven, which is why in my first hundred days, we're going to set up where we're going to have consultants come in and do an assessment of all constituent facing 
uh, departments that we have. That means the Department of Public Works, Transportation, our permitting, and the various other licenses to be able to see what our service level agreements are being met and which service level agreements are not being met by the service delivery. We're going to be data driven with metrics and dashboards. Great. Thank you. Uh